So there's been a lot of reporting on the uh, so-called Ezra incident, and uh, very quickly, Ezra Miller was uh, shown in the videotape to be choking a girl, uh, apparently a female fan, in Iceland um, after he was being provoked. Um, the whole details of the incident are still not clear, but it has been authenticated. It is him. And now the issue is what's going to happen with the upcoming Flash movie, which finally has a director. Is it going to happen? Is it going to be canceled? Will he be replaced? But I think the more interesting question is, what is going on with the whole DCU at the moment? And there are some rumors that Wonder Woman 1984 was always meant as a reboot. And for a while, the producers have denied that. But after what happened in Iceland, I think it's probably very probable that um, Wonder Woman 1984 will be a kind of reboot and pivot point for the whole universe and so we're going to discuss how that's possible and what does it mean for upcoming projects and where the DCU is right now. Now, in the broader scope, it's really not in a big state of crisis because financially due to Aquaman and Joker being such big financial hits, it's actually doing financially pretty well, but in terms of as a universe, it's clearly still apples and oranges with the DCU and um, the MCU with the MCU coming out with many more projects and being somewhat more cohesive. So where does Wonder Woman um, play a role in all this? Well, in 1984, there's a plot thread where um, she's facing an opponent with a magical stone. Yeah, it sounds pretty silly. But in any case, the magical stone has wish-granting powers. So we can kind of easily see what's going to happen. Either Diana or someone else or a superhero or some other kind of character does use the wish-granting powers of the stone and that will reboot the universe so that um, either BVS doesn't happen or did happen but does so in ways that allows for the new Batman and other new characters. And obviously we can see with the Flash, depending on what they're going to do, with Ezra, he can either be replaced or they can keep him, but it's basically going to be his last appearance and they can find a kind of smooth transition point to move from the Flash to a new Flash and not disrupt the continuity. Now, story-wise, this is pretty extreme, just using, you know, a magical stone and that's the end of it. But in terms of the wider DCU, they are, they are in sort of a no-win situation where they want to move away from the Snyder version of the DCU and move on to a, another version, but they're not clear where to go. So the confirmed projects include Aquaman, uh, Batman, of course, um, perhaps a Batgirl and Supergirl movies, but we don't have any news on that. Um, the Trench, which is part of the Aquaman universe, is also coming, and perhaps Black Adam, though there's no title attached. So there's a good mix of projects, but there's no overall vision as to where the DCU needs to be going. Um, we can sort of say that if Wonder Woman is 1984 is a big hit, they're probably going to use Wonder Woman as sort of the lead character and try to group the films behind her. But even if they do a Joker sequel, Joker's not part of the DCU, at least in terms of its core movies. So it's really not clear where they're going uh, in the next couple of films. But financially overall, it's actually done pretty well because even though Harley Quinn wasn't a big hit, it, for its budget, they haven't really lost a lot of money. And with DVD sales, it'll probably do pretty decently. But I guess, like Shazam, it wasn't financially what they wanted the film to be. So they've kind of gotten mixed signals from the fans that aside from Wonder Woman and Aquaman, it's not clear what the foundation for the DCEU is. But in terms of the Ezra Miller incident proper, it doesn't really mess things up too much because the Flash himself as a character was never going to be a central part of the DCU, even with the various appearances he's made in the films and television show. Um, whether Ezra would have liked that is another question, but it's clear that they never really had much built up for the Flash beyond the movie that was upcoming with Andrew Machete. So it's a bit of a big question mark for the DCU. Even if Wonder Woman is a good reboot, um, you've got a lot of Snyder fans who would be disappointed that they're trying to completely move away from his vision entirely and the Snyder Cut is a real thing out there. 
And then on top of all that, um, it's not clear how the new Justice League would be formed, who would be in it, what would be the thing behind it, who would they be fighting, and so on and so forth. So it's a lot of mid-course correction, and it's still unclear as to where they're going, but in all probability, Wonder Woman will be a kind of pivot point to move the narrative into a new place. So what do you guys think? Is this a good idea? Should they do it? Should they not do it? This has been Pop Cult Analyzed on the DCU in a state of crisis and or choice. Pop Cult Analyzed, if you like the content, please hit the like button and or subscribe.